Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying different questions about Spark and Hadoop on my channel and they have been helpful to you during some interviews. As part of today's question, I am going to cover what is the difference between ORC and Parquet format in Hadoop and Spark. So actually there are more similarities between these two formats rather than differences. So it becomes difficult for people to choose any one out one format out of these two so that's why if this question is asked during an interview you will see most of people puzzled so uh, i want to differentiate as part of this video that uh, what are the some uh, different uh, things between orc and parquet so so that it is helpful for you to select any format out of these one uh, I have also made a video about uh, difference between Avro and Parquet. So the same will apply to Avro and ORC also. And uh, I hope this video will be useful for you. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends. Let us start with answering this question. <coughs> okay, so, so Parquet was inspired from Google Dremel paper and ORC was inspired from raw columnar format which was developed by Facebook. So uh, both uh, even though the basic concepts are similar both are columnar uh, formats uh, both come from a different school. So Parquet come, uh, is inspired from Google Dremel and ORC is inspired from RC uh, format which came from Facebook. So Parquet is more capable of storing nested data. If you have a data uh, that, that you want to store in uh, Hadoop and that data has a lot of hierarchy, uh, it, it has a tree kind of hierarchy, then Parquet is a very good suit for this because Parquet internally stores the data in that uh, fashion. So, uh, make, so having a tree structure in the data makes it easier for Parquet to store it more efficiently. So both ORC and Parquet are very useful when it comes to query optimization. So that's what I mean from uh, predicate pushdown. So, okay, what is predicate pushdown? Suppose you have huge amount of data and you, uh, you have written some filter queries and you have written some conditions in your query. So uh, your uh, optimization engine, like in case of spark uh, catalyst optimizer can take advantage of uh, uh, your uh, file format it can push down lot of uh, calculation to your file format so since uh, uh, as part of uh, metadata orc and parquet both store information that what is the max value in in the partition what is the min value in the partition and some other stats a uh, lot of uh, times you don't have to even go through the data to uh, to filter the data so you don't have to read the data to know whether that record that you are looking for exists in that partition or not so orc is more capable of doing that because orc stores min max in information about a uh, partition and it stores uh, that information at multiple level you know it stores it for every 10000 rows in the uh, partition and uh, it also takes help of bloom filters if you're not aware bloom filters are the data structure which are used to find out very quickly uh, if a record exists in a data set or not in simple words I have, you know that you can think of uh, bloom filters uh, like that so ORC is more capable of uh, storing uh, you know uh, for predicate pushdown than parquet and uh, uh, acid support ORC supports acid properties so if you have new data coming in uh, it can serialize the data in your table uh, within one minute and uh, uh, you uh, you will either the person who is querying the data will either see the data or not see the data so uh, it, it it adds kind of transaction kind of a, support to your uh, data series it's not exact it, you can think of it as an acid compliant uh, uh, 
uh, you know uh, file format parquet doesn't provide that feature you you cannot add data on the go in parquet so ors is more suitable for streaming kind of thing where you you are streaming and you want uh, data and you want to write it keep on writing it and somebody wants to consume the data moreover orc has been seen as more uh, compression efficient data storage than parquet uh, so everybody has their different opinions but orc is generally considered to be more compression efficient and if you see from industry pro, uh, support point of view parquet is better i have seen most of people using parquet format rather than orc format even though orc has more advantages since most of people end up using cloudera distribution and cloudera is uh, has a huge backing uh, for parquet uh, so parquet is more uh, industry used format rather than ORC even though ORC scores on top of parquet for uh, uh, you know some some points uh, but uh, I we have to agree on this thing that there is very minute difference between these two formats the the heart of uh, 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 both of these formats is same the basic concepts are same both are columnar format and uh, uh, both will give you considerable performance boost if you are using them as part of your uh, big data processing i hope this video is helpful uh, if you have any questions please post it in our comment section i'll be very happy to answer those please subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends